The bishops are being met with more protests today. Survivors of clergy sex abuse say they are angry and frustrated that no action is being taken. Correspondent Wyckelsby joins us from the rally just outside the Bishop's Hotel where activists are demonstrating tonight. Good evening, Wyatt. Good evening, Lauren. Well, victims of abuse who are here at the rally say they hope the bishops and the wider Catholic community will push for concrete change. They say some bishops simply have not been as open and transparent, even on incidents that happened decades ago. Now, at this rally, which is happening just next to the hotel where the bishops are meeting, has a number of Catholic activists, writers, and bloggers. Some have been praying the rosary. It's organized by Church Militant, which is a group that has been highly critical of church leadership in the past. Now, not everyone here agrees on what exactly the bishops should do next, but they want the problem rooted out. Now, I spoke with James Grind, who tells me he was abused by by Theodore McCarrick in 1969. I asked him why he came to speak at this rally today. There are many people who are sick and suffering about the Catholic Church, and it's my turn to step up and say that abuse has to stop now. I also spoke with Dr. Alan Keyes, the conservative political analyst and former presidential candidate. He tells me this is less about anger and frustration and more about love and calling out exactly what the bishops have been doing and what they have not been doing. People who are moving their mouths, their lips say words of comfort and of repentance, but their actions simply don't match. And in fact, when we look at things that are happening, they seem to be not only not acting against these abuses with courage and with a forthright sense that the standard is not the standard of the world's judgment, but the standard of God's judgment. And, of course, you can probably hear Dr. Alan Keyes speaking now at the podium right behind me in his very forceful way. The, many of these protesters who we notice here and who I spoke to are in support of Archbishop Carlo Vigano. He is, of course, the former U.S. nuncio who has been calling out some of these allegations and actually called for Pope Francis to resign. Many of them have buttons that say Vigano on it and also T-shirts as well. Lauren? Wyatt, Archbishop Vigano did send a letter to U.S. bishops today. What was his message? That's right. Uh, Archbishop Vigano had really called on the bishops to think back about when they were ordained and about what their mandate was. And that was, of course, to lead the flock to Christ. And he added, I want to quote here, do not behave like frightened sheep, but as courageous shepherd. And of course, Vigano has issued a number of letters in recent months talking about the church scandal. We've heard similar things here from victims and from supporters of victims' families who are saying that the shepherds do need to smell like their sheep. Lauren? Correspondent White Goolsby reporting from Baltimore.